IMF's misadventures date back to my earliest days at the CIA when the IMF broke into the CIA to steal a list of covert operatives. And now, more recently, a Russian warhead. Disarmed Russian warhead. A Russian nuclear warhead. Rendered safe by the IMF. Clipped the Transamerica Pyramid before plunging into the San Francisco Bay. Saving the Western Hemisphere. This made possible by IMF agents who did willingly provide the launch codes to a known terrorist. Do I have that right, Agent Brandt? I can neither confirm nor deny details of any such operation without the Secretary's approval. This was the same week that the IMF infiltrated the Kremlin. Here is the Kremlin before. And the Kremlin after. I can neither confirm nor deny details of any operation without... Without the Secretary's approval, yes, we know. In fact, until this panel appoints a new Secretary, you really can't say much of anything, can you, Agent Brandt? Well, I didn't write the rules, Mr. Hunley. Mr. Chairman, the so-called Impossible Mission Force is not just a rogue organization. It is an outdated one, a throwback to an era without transparency and without oversight. Mr. Chairman. The time has come to dissolve the IMF... Mr. Chairman. ...and transfer their salvageable assets to the CIA. Mr. Chairman, the IMF has operated without oversight for 40 Mr. years. Chairman. Now, are its methods unorthodox? Mr. Yes. Chairman. Are its results less than perfect? Absolutely. But without the IMF, there will be, be order and stability. Without the IMF. This panel recognizes the IMF's contribution to global security. But the events laid out by CIA Director Hundley also show a pattern of wanton brinksmanship and a total disregard for protocol. From where I sit, your unorthodox methods are indistinguishable from chance, and your results, perfect or not, look suspiciously like luck. I'm afraid today is the day when the IMF's luck runs out. <laughs>